Power over Ethernet, PoE, PoE Plus, UPoE, UPoE Plus, PoE and PoE. Power over Ethernet, PoE, is a widely used LAN technology that provides DC power to endpoints over existing copper Ethernet cabling used for data connectivity. Power is passed from power, sourcing equipment, PSE, over the twisted pairs to power devices, PD, such as IP phones, IP cameras, card readers, selling machines, wireless access points, and other industrial and building appliances. There are two specifications for standard PoE implementations, IEE 802.3AF, 2003, and IEE 802.3T, 2009, which accommodate different power levels. They do not affect the data speed level. 10, 100, 1000 MBPs to the PD, though. The first standard IEE 802.3 AF PoE provides up to 15.4 W on DC power per switch interface, PSE side. Due to power dissipation in the cable, only 12.95 W of this is guaranteed to be available at the end client. With the technology getting popular and widely deployed, the power requirement of end clients increased. This led to the introduction of the IEE 802.3 AT standard, known as PoE+. It provides up to 30W of DC power per switch interface, assuring 25.5W of power at the end device. Both standards deliver electrical power over two out of four pairs in the UTP cable. CAT5E or better. Cisco UPoE and UPoE Plus. Over the years, IP networks have evolved and connected devices required greater power. To meet this demand, Cisco 2 improved power over Ethernet technologies. Cisco Universal Power over Ethernet, UPoE, and Cisco Universal Power over Ethernet Plus, UPoE Plus, which tripled the power provided per switch interface. It uses the same cabling standard as power over Ethernet, but instead of delivering power over two of the twisted pairs, it uses all four twisted pairs in the category 5E or better cable. Device detection and negotiation process. When you connect an end device to a PoE-enabled interface, the switch sends out a detection pulse and waits for a valid detection signature, as defined in 802.3AF at. When the end device responds to this pulse by drawing a standard amount of current, which tells the switch what PoE class the end client is, this process is called a hardware handshake or PoE handshake, and as the name implies, it is implemented in the switch's hardware. There is another software-based approach to negotiate the power consumption of an end device. It is done using the Link Layer Discovery Protocol. LLDP, which is a data link layer protocol for advertising network capabilities.